Mike Bordick joins us now, Mass and Analyst. Mike, I want to talk to you a little bit about the number of errors the Orioles pitchers have had. Now, Gosman had one tonight. The Orioles has a team 36 errors, but 10 by pitchers and two by Kevin Gosman. Why so many? Uh, it's a little concerning, uh, to say the least, not helping themselves at all. And typically, uh, the pitchers have been uh, really good fielders. Kevin Gosman, a great athlete. Tyler Wilson is the most surprising. He's made a few errors, not helping himself. And he's always been considered a great athlete on the mound. Uh, you know, they work hard. You see him in spring training every day doing their PFP drills. Uh, you get into a little rut, and now I think it's just a, a mental thing. You know, uh, even the pickoff throw by Kevin Gosman, kind of feeling for it. Not a natural move there, spiking that one into the dirt. Davis couldn't come up with it, and uh, another unearned run against the pitchers. Mike, you know, uh, you got to feel bad uh, for Kevin Gosman again. I know it's not a perfect outing, but he is pitching his heart out out there. And with all this firepower, we're not giving him enough support to win one lousy ball game. But another pretty good effort, like you say, again tonight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love watching Kevin Gosman pitch. There are times he has little blemishes. Uh, the first inning, he had a little blemish tonight, but certainly bounced back. Live fastball. First inning, his fastball was 92, and then next thing you know, I think he got that chip on his shoulder. 97, 98, he was riding it to the top of the zone, as you see there, and the nasty split finger on the lefty. So the stuff, plenty good enough to win. Love this fastball tonight, 76% of the time. Like to see him improve that breaking ball maybe come up with a little cutter off the fastball but the changeup is filthy as well and Kevin Gosman every outing he's been at six innings he hasn't been under five all year long he's averaging six innings so what else can you ask of him sub four earned run average every time he pitches he gives his team a chance to win the Orioles just can't get the big hit for Kevin. Now, Mike, let's talk a little bit about Chris Davis. Now, he has three home runs in the last three games that he's played. He's made some marvelous defensive plays, including one there in the ninth inning. Uh, he said he seems like he's in a, quite a groove right now after a day off. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if it was the day off. I think uh, Chris Davis is a streaky hitter for sure. He's been working hard, though. I talked to Scott Coolbaugh today, and he just wants to get him in more of an aggressive mode, not the feel mode, uh, looking for the walks. Instead, looking to hit, looking to hit the ball hard, and then trust your eyes what you see. And over the last few games, yeah, he's catching the fastball. Hitting some home runs, of course. It's nice to see him using the whole field, the opposite field home run off the tough lefty in yesterday's ball game. And his defense has been superb all year long. Saving another error from the infield today, picking up Jonathan Scope. That was a clutch play defensively. And then, of course, a big one in last night's ball game, taking that line drive away. So Davis starting to become the, the well-rounded player that we'd hoped for, hitting homers. Now starting to pick the average up and playing the great defense. Well, Mike, as always, we appreciate your comments. Look forward to chatting with you tomorrow afternoon when the Orioles play the Jays starting at 1 o'clock right here on uh, Madison. Time now to take a look at the uh, pitchers of record. Drew Storen gets the victory.